Hello, welcome to another edition of Clarion Energy News. I'm Teresa Hansen, Vice President of Global Content for Clarion Energy. Here are some of the stories we're covering. Story number three, Minn Kota Power Cooperative is one step closer to completing Project Tundra, which is a carbon capture, utilization, and storage retrofit at its Milton R. Young coal-fired power plant in North Dakota. The cooperative announced that it has selected Texas-based EPC firm Fleur as the front-end engineering and design, or FEED, contractor. The FEED is being funded by the U.S. Department of Energy's Office of Fossil Energy and managed by the National Energy Technology Laboratory. It's part of a larger initiative to advance carbon capture technology development. Mac McLennan, Minn Kota's president and CEO, said the innovative technologies being evaluated have the potential to serve as a blueprint for the rest of the world to reduce carbon dioxide emissions without sacrificing grid reliability and affordability. The Milton R. Young Station is a two-unit, 705-megawatt lignite coal-burning plant. Unit 1 became operational 50 years ago, while Unit 2 began generating electricity seven years after that. Minn Kota Power hopes to make Project Tundra one of the nation's largest carbon capture projects. That's it for me this week. I'll now turn it over to Jen Runyon. Stay safe and healthy, everyone. Hi, everyone. Story number two. A new report from Lux Research looked at the potential of decarbonizing the entire global energy system and found that HVDC and the transport of liquid green hydrogen will be the most cost-effective pathways toward decarbonization. That's because many countries like Singapore, Japan, and the, and the Netherlands will not be able to meet their decarbonization goals with locally generated renewable energy alone, and they'll need to re import renewable energy from more resource-rich countries, the report found. The analysis found that the build-out of more AC and DC transmission lines will be the most cost-effective ways of importing solar energy, but only up to distances of a thousand kilometers. At further distances, other renewable energy carriers, like liquid hydrogen, will be more cost effective. The report author did emphasize, however, that it's important to note that imported energy costs can be competitive against other zero carbon technologies, but no current energy carrier can offer costs low enough to completely replace liquid natural gas or oil. You can read all about that report at RenewableEnergyWorld.com. Story number one, two dams failed in Michigan last week, leading to the evacuation of around 10,000 people, according to various news reports. Edenville Dam, which is on the border of Midland and Gladwin counties failed, which then led to the failure of the Sanford Lake Dam downstream. In response, Michigan Governor Whitmer declared a state of emergency. The Detroit Free Press reported that the river hit a historic high as of last Wednesday morning, rising above its 1986 record. Now, both of those dams have been used for hydropower, but in 2008, FERC had revoked Boyce, Hydro's, Boyce Hydro LLC's license for power generation at the Edenville Dam, citing, quote, numerous violations and long-standing concerns that the Edenville Dam could not withstand a significant flood. End quote. FERC is reported to have notified the dam owner in 1999 that spillway capacity needed to increase. The dam was built in 1925 and impounds Wixom Lake. Boyce Hydro also owns the Sanford Lake Dam, which was built in 1924. The dam impounds water for a 3.3 megawatt hydro powerhouse. And you can go to hydroreview.com for that whole story. And lastly, the Clarion Energy News team is hosting a plethora of webcasts in the coming weeks on topics ranging from unlocking the value of energy storage to creating digital as built for utility workers to civil infrastructure repair and renewal, st renewal strategies. Scroll down on any of the home pages at power-eng.com, power-grid.com, or hydrovereview.com to find our webcast section and learn more about them. That's all I've got for you today. Thank you for watching.